Developing at 10 o'clock tonight, just a terrible mm. story. A 71 year old Lyft driver was shot and killed over the weekend. So senseless. Uh, it happened near 32nd Street and Baseline just after midnight Sunday, uh, the day of that man's 52nd wedding anniversary. And still here a few days later, police really don't have many leads in this case. His wife is begging for answers as to who did this. Kim Powell sat down with her today. A once in a lifetime love cut short. He was my best friend forever. My soulmate for sure, you know, and my lover, and he just was just the best person ever. Francis Treadwell was married to her husband, Harold, for 52 years. He was a good man. I miss him so much. He was shot on their anniversary while on his lift shift. The two talked on the phone just five minutes before his death. He called me at, he liked to work nights. He called me at, they said it was 1228. I said, happy anniversary. And I said, happy anniversary. We told each other we loved each other. And he was down on baseline in 32nd. And he said, I'm going to try to work my way back up north. Harold loved driving people around. His wife said it was a good way for him to save up extra cash for their trips to the Grand Canyon. He was retired. He liked to talk to people. He met a lot of good, good people, majority. Sometimes people were drunk, but that's the nighttime crowd on the weekend, you know, but he was good with them. Francis doesn't know why someone shot her husband that night, and Harold didn't have a passenger in his car at the time. The evidence just isn't there's just not much to go on. You know, who did this and why it was so senseless that this happened to a stranger. I mean, he would never aggravate anybody. He wasn't like a road rage driver or anything. He was like, I described him as Santa Claus. Right now, her only hope is for someone to come forward with information and pray no one else becomes a victim of her husband's killer. He took the love of my life away. You know, my best friend, my soulmate, my my forever person and so they need to be punished by law and if you have to live with this guilt the rest of your life shame on you. Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.